Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft experience here on the bakery server. Season two, season two is in full effect. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these episodes because I am loving these episodes. And as you can tell, poof, I found a parrot. I don't know if I showed that to you last episode, but I love this parrot. This is like one of my favorite parrots. I also like the blue ones. The blue ones are also really cool. Uh, and I have, I've been breeding these pandas here. Lots of stuff, lots of stuff that we've done today. I've cleared out a bunch of these bamboo, uh, of this bamboo here, and it doesn't even look like much. Doesn't even look like much, but we've cleared a pathway. Again, don't know if I showed you this, but this is a little farm area I got going on. Not gonna be permanent farm area, but you know, it was it was next to the water. I thought it looked nice, so I made it a farm area, which we're gonna need anyway after I start getting on these farms here, which brings us to our goal for this episode. I wanna get going on some animal farms. Now, if you saw last episode, I have a butcher set up in the uh, spawn village that is gonna be buying some um, chicken, some raw chicken. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a raw chicken cooker right here. Um, and I, I hope I can do it here. I've, I've chosen this, okay, oh, hey buddy. Um, let's get some bamboo just in case some of these guys attack me. Oh boy, the lag, the lag is real, okay. Hey buddy, let's actually go ahead and feed these guys. They're so cute when you feed them. That's that's why I've been breeding them so much. They don't really do anything for you. Hey buddy, please don't be mad. Please eat. Okay, that, okay. I really, oh boy, they're all like angry. These guys are gonna kill me one of these days. Okay, so here we, here we have, please, I might need to tame them away or pull them away or something. I don't know. So here we have the automatic chicken cooker. In fact, I think I'm gonna put the chest right here. Do I want to put the chest here? These guys are so fun. Okay, um, it's gonna be here. So I want the chest to be there, right? We're gonna kind of expand that a little bit. We're gonna cut into here. Yeah, let's just let's just go for it. You know, we've got the we've got the utensils. Let's do this. Let's work from the back. Actually, let's go to bed real quick. All right, so thinking about this, we're gonna put the hopper here, obviously, and then we are going to, oh, let's get this stone cutter, and there's that phone going off every time, beautiful people, every time. I could not do anything all day, phone won't go off. As soon as, as, soon as I start recording, phone goes off, ridiculous. We are gonna use one of these brand new mossy cobblestone slabs in order to put that there, and then we're gonna put this dispenser, which I had to give up my bow for, Oh, by the way, I made a crossbow. I had some extra string, and I t and I used the bow. So, so I have a crossbow now. Just gonna keep that there for now. Um, yeah. So we have a dispenser here, and what we're gonna do, I think, what we need to do is up here. I want this to be like the best chicken farm ever. Like, like I like we all have that like really simple design. But I want this to be expandable, like like super, super efficient. Like that's that's my goal for this. Okay, so now what we need to do with this guy, chickens are gonna be sitting up here, right? They're gonna be sat up here, then they're gonna drop their eggs. Eggs are gonna dispense right here. Now we need, oh, yikes, I didn't think about that. We're gonna need a sticky piston. Ooh, ooh. I wonder if Black Belt has a sticky piston yet, but let's 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 do this first. Let's let's worry about that later. Let's push this back here because we are going to need to do. Uh, we're gonna do this little circuit here. I always like putting my redstone on these slabs so that I know whenever I'm like mining randomly that uh, that if I come across one of these slabs, I should probably be careful to uh, to how I interact with it. Okay, so I put down a comparator into a repeater, which goes to another repeater, which means that this will start a clock, right? As soon as there's, it can even be one item in it. It'll, it'll have that clock in it. And we're gonna take that redstone signal and we're gonna put it to one of these blocks here which can we will be able to see that block? No, we won't. So we can then take that right there. And now what I want to do, that that's basically it. Now whatever eggs are put in there will just be dispensed right here. Now we need to choose what block is gonna be here. You know what I want? You know what block I want to be there? I want this block to be there. Chiseled stone brick. Dude, this stone cutter is so darn good. Bam, okay, that block's gonna be there. Don't you worry, we're gonna put a little sticky piston right there, that's where we're gonna put a sticky piston. Um, and now, we gotta think, if this is glass, we're gonna see this block and this block, and when that's pulled back, maybe that block up there. So let's, 
Let's make some stone bricks, maybe? Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do that. That way we can uh, go up like so, up like so, right? And then I want another one of these guys. I think I want, oh, I just made all of them. Oh, shift clicking, why? Uh, let's head up here. I think that guy, right? Cause that piston will be, if that piston gets pulled back, then I should probably put one here, right? And then we should probably put some stuff back over here. Maybe just stone bricks, which I wish I had, uh, but I don't. All right, so I figured it out. We put the stone back there. That will probably, well, actually we'll do this for now because that's where it's gonna be for now. And then what I wanna do for this front, I put these these cobble, these cobble mossy cobblestones here. I think that looks really good. I think that looks really, really good. And then I wanna put that up there. And then I was thinking maybe these new these new bricks right here. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe they, maybe they might look nice for you guys. That looks pretty cool. That looks nice. But we are gonna to need to put glass here and glass there. That can be opened, but that's all well and good. In fact, ooh, I've got a better idea. We'll keep those there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's do this. That guy, boom. I shift click it again. Bummer, but that doesn't matter because we can do this. Hoo, hoo. Right, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then we put that there, that there. And then we're gonna put, yeah. We're gonna put lanterns right there. That's gonna look sweet. Or, oh, we got a zombie. Get out of here, zombie. Okay, okay. I've got something better. I've got, that looks great already. That's that's the perfect little inconspicuous thing ever. Now you're thinking donuts, donuts. How are, you, how are you gonna get the chickens in there in the first place? Oh, I thought that was a baby zombie. Nope, all right, sleep. Okay, genius, this is how we're gonna do it. Boy, that looks good already. That looks so good already. Okay, I just thought of this. What if, oh, that guy looks so angry at me. Okay, we're gonna need to obviously kind of build up this a little bit so that we're not like on the edge right here. Although that could be fine. That could be good. What if we, what if we did this, eh? Huh? Huh? Right? That could be cool, right? And add in this little like, whoo, no, not you, not you. Right there, very good, all right? If, what, if, what does that look like? What does that look like? Eh? That looks like a little hut. That doesn't look half bad. Doesn't look half bad right there. Ooh, hoo -hoo. that looks that looks nice. But what if what if we did this? What if we did this instead? Right? We, we did this, and then we. Oh, why can't I jump over this? Okay, we did. Huh? One, two, three, four, five, six. Dude, they need this for the wood for the wood stuff, man. This is just so cool. Okay, we got you. We've got you right there. You right there, you over here and over here, right? That looks nice, I like that. I think we're gonna go with stone for this uh, this jungle cause it just looks so great. Okay, that looks nice. Um, I'm not a big fan of that top, we might still play with it, play around with it a little bit. In fact, what I could do even, this is what I could do. Ooh, right, like that, maybe? That looks better, that looks better, boom, boom. We can kind of like get rid of those. Oh, that looks cool. That looks cool. We'll continue to play with it. Oh, I'm gonna have to break this glass because I don't like that that being there. Let's put you there. Yes, and a piece of glass there. That looks nice. Get out of here, zombie. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, donuts, donuts. What about, you? you're not answering the question, donuts. What about the chickens and the eggs. For the time being, we can come all the way up here, ha ha. Yes, wah. And we can, uh-oh, I didn't want this. Well, how do I get out of here? Donuts, you're an idiot. <laughs> um, okay, that's that's gonna be good enough. Okay, let us, I wanna grab some of these guys. In fact, let me make, let me make some more of these guys. Um, I can't, I can't, okay, well, Maybe I'll use this. Maybe I'll use this. Okay, because I want to block this off like so. And then we can do that and that. Oh, and we'll do this guy and this guy like so. And then hopefully, oh, come on, give me up here. And then hopefully, uh, eventually I'm going to put a dispenser. Is that all locked away? Yes. Eventually I'm going to do a chest with a dispenser, like right here. Just a little tiny chest facing this way, you know, we'll 
get rid of these trees and whatnot. And we can just put a whole bunch of eggs in here and we can just go ham with this. And then all the chickens will be hatched and all that good stuff. But for now, we'll just do this. A little trap door, right? A little trap door and it never hurt nobody. And then we'll put all of these eggs. I stole these eggs from spawn. Well, I mean, I, I was around for them to, to do that. Yeah, yeah. Very good, okay. So these guys are gonna take a while to uh, to grow up, but hopefully these guys will, oh, don't fall into the, no, 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 oh, I don't wanna do that. Okay, good, maybe I'll just hatch them on the, on the trap door here. There we go. These guys will grow up. Oh, hey, hey, go, go to your home, go to your home. No, 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 go, go in here, go in here. Oh. These guys will hopefully grow up, dispense some eggs, and we can, uh, we can get some chicken farmings. I suppose I should add in a place for like me to go in there with seeds when I get a bunch of them and breed them, but those are just like our, our seed chickens that will grow up to make eggs and stuff. And, and so what that'll do is we'll be able to flick this lever here, and this block will go back and forth, uh, and when... Uh, okay, here's what happens. Chickens lay the eggs, eggs go into the dispenser, get dispensed, baby chickens here, they grow up, and they get suffocated by this block. Usually every other person does a lava bucket here, I don't want to burn down this jungle, so I'm not doing that, and I haven't done that in the past. So what I've done in the past is I've put a water bucket here to drown them, which works amazingly. But because of 113, the items flow up instead of get collected by this hopper, and they never get down here, so it's unfortunate. So we put this block, they suffocate, drops drop right here, and they get collected. So what this will do is I'll be able to flick that, and that should retract this block, which will make all of these guys grow up kind of infinitely, and they can all lay eggs. So we have, on one hand, if we want eggs, boom, we've got a lever for it. If we want chicken, boom, we've got a lever for it. You know, this is going to be so great. And I will, and I want to expand this down underneath one of these days into this mega farm to where this is always running, it's always going, and we just have tons and tons of chickens. So this is going to be fun. And so farm number one complete. That really does look pretty darn good, doesn't it? I absolutely love that. That is so quaint and nice. Oh, I love it so much. I am sticking with this stone theme. I want this to be kind of stone age, kind of like a castle zoo type area. This is gonna be nice. Okay, next item up for today. There are some changes at spawn that I wanna go check out. I've heard we found a skeleton spawner, which is fantastic. And then I need to start thinking about the next animal that I'm gonna farm here, which is gonna be some pigs. And I need to figure out my storage area. And actually, I think I have. That is the worst sound ever. That little creeper sound he does. Who? Um, the storage area. I think I figured it out this area right here and i think i don't want it on this hill i don't want it above somewhere i think i'm gonna have it deep underground i think i'm gonna chisel out maybe four or five blocks all around here i'm gonna get rid of all of this water and i'm gonna build my storage area around here it's insanity it's insane it's gonna require a lot of a lot of clearing out of stuff but man oh man i think it's gonna be worth it so beautiful people season two is in full effect let's keep this ball rolling all right, so we're back here at spawn, and we're gonna do a couple things. Okay, looks like he removed some of those bushes. Next thing we're gonna do, oh yeah, we've got lots of chickens in here, which means hopefully, oh yeah, look at that. That means this is all full. That's very nice, very very good. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna jack all of this stuff. All well, no, I can't. Not all of it. Not all of it, but. A lot of it. That is going to be good for my own chicken cooker. Oh, that's going to be fantastic. Okay, next thing, we are at level 30, and I believe that uh, we saw that with this enchanting table, we had like a sharpness four sword, which is something that we are definitely going to be able to do. Oh, I should have brought this. Oh, dang it, I should have brought that. Bummer, what do we got here? Okay, I might... Hmm. No, 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 I won't, I won't. Okay, cool. So let's just do this. Let's see what's in here. Sharpness 4. I'm going to take that. Oh, it's only sharpness 4. Bummer. Quick charge 1. That is that is rotten. Efficiency. Knockback. All right, then. Well, that's not all that great. Who? Oh, I so want to take that. I do. But no, I got to get it. I got to get it legit. 
I might just steal some of these pigs, or at least one or two of these pigs from my jungle, because I don't know... I don't think... Do, do pigs spawn in the jungle? I don't think so. So I might just need to, like, grab a boat, take some of these guys with me, maybe three or four, maybe craft up some leads or something. I don't know. One thing I am worried about, though, is some of these villagers. I put in... I put in that butcher, like I said earlier, but I don't know... I don't know if... Hello? Cartographer. Oh, very cool. Ooh, paper trade. Ooh, very nice. Um, uh, as you saw, we did, uh, his trades did kind of change because we hadn't traded with him yet. Is he in here? No. I wonder if he's out there. I wonder if he's out there. Let's take this smoker. Nothing in here, right? Okay. Let's take this out here. Is this him? Any of you him? You're not him? Ooh, okay. Ooh, and it looks like Black Belt's been trading with him. It looks like we got he he got some rock pork chops because he traded with him. Let's see. Do you guys know? Oh no. So the really cool thing about this update is that you can really really easily uh, breed up some villagers. Like it's really not all that difficult. It's just you get a bed and do whatever. So uh, what I'm going to do? Whoop, hello. Uh, let's look for, uh, we're gonna need some more stone. Let's just go down here and get some. I'm gonna try and create another, uh, what do you call it? Another butcher so that we can have that, um, cause I feel like that chicken trade is gonna be so, so beneficial. Let's, um, let's carve some of this out here. All right, let's see if we put down another, another one of these guys. Ooh, this guy became one. Oh, no, that's not the one. Nope. Go away. Go away. Oh, nope. Take it away? Oh no. We might we might have just created another butcher with like a worse trade. Oh, there we go. There we go. There it is. Okay, okay, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. 14. I Okay, I'm gonna go kill. I'm gonna go kill those chickens that spawn. I'm gonna breed them first so that it's not like completely empty. I mean, I mean we've got that whole thing full of eggs, you know, like these guys. These guys are not going anywhere, so. Uh, and we did also turn off entity cramming. Three, four, f oh, maybe. Because if I hit them with the sword, they're all going to go crazy. Come on now. Maybe, come on, breed some more, breed some more maybe? I don't know, I don't know. We're going to get some of these. We, we turned off entity cramming so that way we can have these like super great chicken chicken farmers and, uh, and all that stuff. But hopefully this should... Uh, this should help us out here a little bit. 16, perfect. Yes, 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 yes. Cause this what this is gonna do is this gonna this is gonna lock in that trade for me. So so now anybody, we can create one of these really simple and easy chicken cookers, and we can uh, we can trade with these guys for some emeralds, which is really great. So awesome. And we haven't traded with that other guy, so he can uh, his trade can all go away. Hopefully. Maybe. We'll see. There you are. Perfect. Butcher. No. Novice. Aha! Yeah! What a deal! What a deal! What a steal of a deal! Oh, and I like that. I like those traits, too. Those are definitely good trades. Um, four. He's got four, so this guy's really kind of pointless, so... Yeah, that's whatever. I don't know if they can... Can they walk through those? I don't know. Rabbit stew. You know what? I'm gonna take that. It's not too bad. Are you gonna... No, he's not gonna get more trades. Awesome! Very cool. Okay, so that is like the first step in what we've got to uh, to look forward to. I am so excited. Oh, hello. I am so excited uh, to, to get started on those trades and stuff. I, I It's just going to be so great to have all of those meat trades, to have all of those farms and everything. It's going to be fantastic. Okay. Next thing is Black Belt apparently found a skeleton spawner, which is like jackpot, right? So this is it. Um, we're going to take a look down here. Uh, I am going to see what what sort of spawner or what, what, what we can do, if anything, with this guy. So let's hop on down here. Aha. Okay. So I don't know. Ooh, okay. So it's like clearly... A blank slate. All right. Ooh, this is interesting. This is in a in kind of off off the off the spawn spot. Ooh, there's some iron. Um, 
we could do something with this. We could do something with this. I don't want to lay claim on that quite yet. I might come down here, put some water. I don't know. Just the, the skeleton spawner is just the most useful spawner ever. You got the bone meal, the arrows for that early game. Really, really beneficial. Plus the XP. And what I'm thinking about is you can use the, like the armor that the skeletons drop from those guys. And you can use a grindstone if they're enchanted. And you can get even more XP. Oh, that's... That's a good find, Black Belt. That's a good find. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we have a watering tr wandering trader here. Look at this. You have nothing that I want. I, I actually kind of do want this red sand. I wonder... Huh, I wonder if I still have... Did I not trade an emerald somewhere? I could have sworn that I did. We're back in the jungle, by the way. Uh, we've got some stuff to do here. We've got some, we've got some good stuff here. Let's look for... Do I not have? I could have sworn I traded. I could have sworn I did. Oh well, well, we will. Maybe this guy will still be here when we get back from our little adventure here, but that's really nice. Uh, an update. Our parrot went up in flames. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how. I, I literally have no idea what could have caused that. As you can see, I've created a an AFK chamber here in the jungle. Um, I have no idea. The parrot was sitting right here. So how it got put up in flames, maybe like a zombie had a chanted sword on it or a skeleton had a flip. It's beyond me. I don't know. The only thing I could think of is lightning, but it wasn't raining when I got out. So, so very, very weird. Um, chicken farm. It's working, beautiful people. It is just working its tail off. Look at that. That's fantastic. We're gonna take, we're gonna take these guys, and we're gonna, we're gonna go trade stuff with them first. I'd like some more arrows. Look at that. That's a good amount of arrows. That's fantastic. Okay, we're gonna take, we're gonna take this all. Boom. We're gonna take all that chicken. I know it's gonna leave us with a surplus of feathers, but man, oh man, it is worth it. Whew, very nice. Okay, so we're gonna head on over to spawn because I want to do a couple things. One, I want to brew up a potion of water breathing with this puff puffer fish. And I really want to, well, we really need to, um, we need to get, oh, what do I want? I want this guy, we should have that there. Okay, we really need to get, um, uh, our own brewing station over here. So I'm going to go to, I, I might make another portal here. That might help me uh, connect with spawn just a little bit better. This is like a really easy boat trip, but sometimes I forget like one thing at spawn and I'm like, ah, oh, I don't want to go all the way back to my jungler or all the way back to spawn just for one little thing. Plus I think, I mean, this is less than a thousand blocks. So surely that can't be more than, let's do some quick math here. It's not a far distance away in the nether for me to create another portal here, to go over there. It should be pretty close by. Because what I really want to do is I want to create this water breathing potion so that I can go underneath here the and get these chests for some more loot, maybe some more emeralds, maybe some more diamonds even. And I really want to find a buried treasure. Treasure. I think we should do that by this the end of this episode. I, you know, I want to get a brewing station, go underwater, get a buried treasure, get a heart of the sea, so that we can get um, so we can start farming farming some nautilus shells, so that we can get one of those underwater beacons so that we can start working on underwater stuff as well as our jungle stuff. Cause I feel like that's going to be really, really fun. But then that's like, whew, we're going to need armor for that because we're going to need prismarine, which means we're going to need to go into that uh, ocean monument that we have. I don't think you guys have seen that yet, but there's an ocean monument kind of Northwest of, of my position over there. All right. But first things first, we are yet again at level 30 and I have made progress on on our uh, what do you, what you might call it efficiency three really that's it. <sighs> I wish I could reset that, but okay, at least it has them breaking. That's not the worst thing in the world. Um, I need to yeah I need to go into the Nether. But these are awkward potions. Black Belt went into the Nether, got some more Blaze Powder. I've seen the the Nether 
for fortress that we have so this is going to be not that big of a deal uh, of a deal to go get that but i also want to trade with these villagers over here um uh, yeah i i've been working on my storage idea which i think we're going to do next episode just because like this episode is so full of stuff and it's fantastic um yeah so i have a really cool design for that we'll save that for the next episode but uh next thing we need to do since we're at spawn here is we need to go to uh reptitiously's uh swamp over there and we need to wait for nighttime and then we need to get some slime balls because you, your boy donuts is so stupid he completely forgot that slimes spawn in the swamp when it's at night so that'll be a good time for us to grind up some uh some arrows, some bones, some gunpowder, some levels, XP, as well as get some slimes here. Okay, cool, butcher. Um, I just came over here. Oh, good, that guy. That guy is permanently there. Uh, I came over here, and our butchers that were underneath here were were gone. Oh, look, this guy's back. But they also they also didn't keep their trades. So that's why I've brought this overhaul. Of yeah, look, this guy. Where's that guy? Uh, where are these guys at, man? Where, where are we? Why do they keep getting stuck here? Let's, uh, I don't know. Let's, let's break these guys or hopefully we can just make them have their trades permanently. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's another one. Oh, hey, here's a butcher that has chicken for it. So let's just do this. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. Let's do some more. Nope. Well, let's do that. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna trade all that till he's got no more. Perfect. So now we've got some left over. He's gonna do some magical charm. Yes. <gasps> Coal. Oh, beautiful people. That's fantastic. Hello. You're a cartographer. You've got paper trades. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. Oh no, 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 no. We don't want to do that quite yet. No, no, no. This is all oh, okay. So hey, number one mission accomplished. I'm gonna put you guys back there. Okay, that was set weird. Uh, mission accomplished. We got some trades. We got some emeralds, I think. Oh, we're one short of an iron or an emerald block. Um, we're going to do this, beautiful people. We are going to... Oh, you know what? No, here's what I'm going to do first. Here's what I'm going to do first. We're going to use these emeralds and we're going to buy some chicken here. Yeah, half a stack. Half a stack is good. That way that guy has a little bit more... more uh, Oh, and he discounted his price. Oh, that's fantastic. That's so good. Okay, now I need to get out of here. We need to get out of this uh, this village so we're not endangering these guys anymore. All right, so hopefully that, that villager is going to be like our villager now, the butcher. You saw he had some uh, pork chops to trade as well. So hopefully once we get past that second level, he's going to be able to trade us uh, different stuff like um, what you call it, maybe some beef or some lamb chops or something, you know, like that'd be that'd be great. All right, reptitiously, this part's for you. There's your witch's hut right there. I don't know if, if there's a witch in there yet, but... It's right there and it's super close to spawn. You saw like literally the path we were just, just taking. That's that spawn. So we're super, super close by. Beautiful people, that took no time at all. This took no time at all. We've been here like 10 seconds and we found a slime. This is fantastic. Ah, reptitiously, I'm coming over here all the time. Coming over to your place, I love it. You've got a nice place over here. It's already serving us well. Only seven slime balls, but okay. I'm gonna go fight that Enderman now. By the way, I didn't know this was a lost feature, but the fact that they just stay there if your cursor moves on them, it's so, so good. It's so, so good. Where do you go? Oh, yeah, uh-huh, you trying to get me? Trying to get me? You can't. Where are you at? Who boy, that those guys hit hard. I am so glad there was an update a while ago that buffed Enderman, and it is just so sorely needed. I love that because for a while there, it, it kind of felt like mobs were really too easy. So uh, I'm really happy with how they are now. Let's try this crossbow here. Oh boy, that that didn't pull the back all the way. Oh, 
All right, so that was a pretty good haul. I mean, that really didn't take all that long. It was one night. Uh, we didn't use that much of our shield. We've got some string enough for some bows, which I might even craft. An ender pearl. We've got nearly half a stack of slime balls, some bones. Kind of did some weird stuff with arrows. Using that crossbow was kind of costly, but you know what? And oh wow, I just noticed. We're level 29, almost le almost level 30. I betcha once we head back to spawn here and we uh we uh trade with some villagers if they can, I don't know, and we um maybe breed up some animals, maybe kill some animals too. Uh we can even get to level 30 and maybe enchant this crossbow or see what we get with a bow. I don't know. That's cool. It's good good job, Donuts. Good night. All right, well, I guess that's all it took. Some trading with the villager. Ooh, let's, let's see what we get. Oh, beautiful people. Beautiful people. Look at that. Six mutton, nine beef. Oh, oh my goodness. That's fantastic. That's fantastic, journeyman. Ooh, that's awesome. We got a discounted coal, discounted perk, pork chop, discounted chicken. Oh, beautiful people, that guy is mine. That guy is mine for sure. Oh, that's fantastic. That's so wonderful. And we'll ever and we'll, we are level 30. All right. So now we have a bow. Um you can have some six up here. Okay. Um now that we have a bow, uh we're going to come down here. Boop. Okay, cool. And then we're going to see this has lapis in it, right? Yeah, it does. Okay. Um boom, infinity. Oh, that's so fantastic. Piercing four, that's the next one we're going with. Beautiful people, I'm enchanting that today. And just infinity, that's kind of lame, but that's okay. Have you guys noticed that the enchants are a little, well, they're a little weak here in 114? I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I feel like they're a little weak here in 114. All right, so I put all my stuff in this chest. Nobody take that. All right, we're gonna go into the nether and we are gonna get ourselves a couple blazed rods, maybe fight some weather skeletons. I don't know, we'll see what we get. Maybe get level 30 again, we can get that awesome crossbow. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, donuts, if you hit a pig man. Okay, we gotta run it that way. All right, here we go. Huh, huh. Go, 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 go. Yep, yep, don't, don't shoot the portal. Don't shoot the portal. Don't shoot a pig man. Yeah, very nice. Cha-ching. Hopefully that's not a, uh, well, bad omen. Hmm? Hmm? I'm sorry. All right, all right, we got it. Level 30 again. That was that was quite adventurous there in the nether. Oh boy, we got all our stuff back. We got some more nether quartz because I really wanted that level 30 enchant. Um, we've got some eh stuff. We just got the blaze rods and well, that was ba that was basically it. We got the blaze rods, so eh, not that great of a haul. The black belt already cleared out that uh, nether fortress, which is fine, which is fine. We've got some nether wart though too, so that's our own nether wart which we can use. Um, gonna need to go get some soul sand, but we can use that. Um, let me get this guy because I think we can get piercing now, right? Piercing four, which is perfect because that's gonna save us on some arrows as well. And hopefully it's just piercing four. Okay, well, but now here's the cool part. Here's the cool thing about piercing. Okay, um, I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but here, we're gonna kill that pit. Well, I guess we're not going to kill that pig. Well, I guess no, I guess not. Well, uh, the good thing about piercing, if you have like a power enchant or whatever it's called, is it piercing? 
uh, there's some punch or something to where if you shoot an enemy they can die but the arrow will still remain on the ground and you can pick it back up. So that's the nice thing about piercing. However, now it is time for a different adventure. We are going to end this episode looking for buried treasure. Buried treasure because we finally brewed our water breathing potions and I want to just go check out and swim in those ruins. It's been bugging me so much. This is where I think Black Belt is going to be building one of his buildings. I'm so excited uh, to see what he's got. He's got you know what? Just go watch his videos. Go watch his videos. Black Belt. Make some videos. Make some videos, Black Belt. Uh, and to, to see what he's got going on there. Oh, I should probably go towards my chest, eh? Uh, yeah, so let's go over here. Yeah, I've been dying. I've been dying to get into these waters ever since I saw this uh, this jungle and this thing right here. Oh, it's so great. So we're going to drive on by close, drink a water breathing potion, and look for some buried treasure. All right, pit stop number one. This little ocean ruin right here. Oh, that's not. Oh, hey. Oh, let's. Oh, hey. Oh, why? Okay. All right. There we go. And who? All right. Water breathing here. Yeah. There we go. I should probably. Oh, I don't need my shield. Oh, and there's a shipwreck right there. That's right. Okay. Let's take a look and see. Is there anything underneath here? Maybe. Oh, do I hear? Oh, I see a chest. There might be some underneath here. Hello? Do I need to dig? Is that what I need to do? Aha! There's one. That is... Ooh, luck of the sea. I'll take that. But this is all pretty garbage. I'm going to actually just do that. Just so that nobody else thinks that you can go through here. Let's take a look at this guy. Oh, boy. Ooh, buried treasure map. That's perfect. That is wonderful. I'll take that. Awesome. Is there anything else? I think so, right? There's got a sea lantern. A sea lantern, that's really, really nice. We can use that for some light, or some lighting. I think, is that it? That can't be it. Surely there's three of them, right? It's a video game, rule of threes, yeah? No? Okay, well, oh wait, maybe check this guy out. Aha, I knew it, rule of three. Another buried treasure map, maybe that's the same, maybe it's different, I don't know. Got more of this, got some more coal, we got an axe, which... We don't really need, uh, but you see, why, how could you get here and find a stone axe and be like, yes, that's totally what I wanted. Come on, come on, Mojang. You're not, you're not down here with wooden tools. You're down here with diamond tools. You're down here with water breathing potions and all that stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Mojang does their thing. Okay, let's look in this wrecked ship. This should be pretty easy. Let's see what we got. Ooh, that's going to be very beneficial. Another buried treasure. Ooh, a clock. That's nice. Uh, now, I think... I think there's two of them, right? Yeah, there are two. <gasps> oh, beautiful people. That, now, D Mojang, that's how you do it. That's how you do it right there. That this, this is all very beneficial stuff. That's fantastic. That is a good chest right there. Good job, Mojang. I love swimming, man. I love swimming so much. All right, cool. So that was... That was one haul done and dusted with. I don't think we're gonna have enough inventory space, so we might just have to, might just have to go back and forth between these little chests here. But eh, that's my problem to worry about, not your guys's. Let's go check out that other one. Actually, first, let's check out this buried treasure map. Okay, northeast, right? So we're gonna go this way, right? That looks like it's inside this jungle here. Ooh, that looks interesting. Or maybe it's on the other side of this little. I think my dot's getting bigger. Uh oh. It looks like it's going to be on that island over there. Let me craft up a boat and we'll go over there. All right, it looks like it's leading us right to this wrecked ship right here, which is really interesting. You know, like, I love these guys. I feel like there's just so many of them. I feel like you just get lost in all of these guys. All right, all right, here we go. X marks the spot, maybe once more kind of this way a little bit. Yeah, right around there. I think, what was my trick of doing this? Right around... Right around here, right? I think that's it. I think that's how we're doing it. So let's head on down here. Aha! Aha! There it is. Oh yes, beautiful people. This is this is it. Fifteen emeralds. Got some salmon, some TNT, some cod, but most importantly, the heart of the sea. Ooh, and a diamond as well. Oh, that that is just that is just wonderful. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, now let's go check this out. Let's go see. Let's go see what we can do. That's. I think we can make our first emerald now. That's fantastic. Aha! Uh -huh. Another diamond. That's the loot that I want, Mojang. That's the loot. That's that's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. And I think there's even another one over here. I think there's a little second part of this boat. 
Oh, yes, 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 yes. Some more books. That's fantastic. Papers. An unknown buried treasure map. We'll do that. Oh, we are we are rich today, beautiful people. This is the episode where Donuts gets rich. Look at this. Just on the other side. Just on the other side of this uh, of this jungle here. That's like the, the main part. Look at that. We got this monument right here. That's fantastic. That's so cool. And it's it's on the top of the surface too. That is that is sweet. Oh, we gotta we gotta get out of here. Beautiful people, a miracle's happened. A miracle's happened. Hello, I'm just back here collecting my stuff because I lost this snow zombie. Come back up here. Come back up here. Oh no. Let me grab this. Let me grab that. Let me grab this and that. Okay. Hello. Um. Yeah. That. Okay. Hello. Um. Wow. Uh. Please get in a boat. Let's get him in a boat. No, not you. The other guy in a boat. Let's get the other guy in a boat. Okay. Yes. Yes. Hello. Oh, you guys, uh, you missed this. You missed this before. Hey, come up here. Get up here. Get up here, zombie. Come on. So I was at my jungle earlier. Not this episode. Yes. <laughs> Ow. 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 Okay. Ow. Hey. Hey. Okay. Okay. Um, hurry up and heal, donuts. Hurry up and heal. Can I push the boat? Oh my goodness. Come on, heal, donuts. Heal, heal, heal. Okay. Oh, you. You stay back. Okay. So I was. Okay, that's gonna have to do it. That's gonna have to do it. Go, 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 go. Ah. Ah. Okay. Ah. Oh man, I was at my jungle and I heard a, a villager and I was like, oh, that's so bizarre. That's weird. They don't spawn here. And I was like, oh, it's a zombie villager. It's a zombie villager. And that's fantastic. <gasps> wait, can I, I don't, wait, I wonder, I wonder if I, oh, beautiful people. We might be able to do this here. Oh, please don't turn daylight. Please don't turn daylight. Okay. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta work fast. Gotta go fast. <laughs> um, and I, there's a zombie villager. And I was like, oh, okay, that's awesome. But I have literally nothing to, uh, um, uh, I need cobblestone. One, two, three. Thank you. Boom, boom, boom. I was like, I literally have nothing to, um, okay, we're gonna have to break one of you down now. I have no weakness potion. I have no nothing. Get out of my way. Okay, this is speed brewing, speed brewing. No, 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 I feel the light. I feel the light. I don't want the light. You go, you get that. Boom, no, not you. Spider eye. Spider eye, does that do it? I think that's a weakness potion. Please be a weakness potion. If that's not a weakness potion, I'm screwed. Unless he can like survive. Unless I... I'm fine. I'm okay. I just thought... I just thought that would be a weakness potion. Is it? Is it fermented spider eye? I bet you it's fermented spider eye. That's a weakness potion. Yep! Missed that opportunity again. Dang it, man. And I really, really want... Like, uh, I want to import villagers. I want to import villagers from the jungle to like I really wish that butcher that I got was a jungle one because I love I love the way the jungle ones look the jungle ones plus the the swamp ones I really like their aesthetic um dang it that was such a missed opportunity man ah <sighs> well yeah I had one trapped over here but I didn't have like a name tag or or any sort of potions so I was like okay cool uh so I trapped them underneath like a block and I kind of gave up but then I was like, no, let's fish. So, so I went fishing for literally like two minutes. And like the third or fourth thing that I pull up was a name tag. And it was just like, why am I going over here? I'm going over here. I want to go over here. And as I was like, I got the name tag. I'm like, cool. I don't have an anvil. And the guy was despawned by the, by the time I was already with that. So, uh, oh, well, oh, well. This is the beginning of Minecraft, man. Beginning of Minecraft. And I got to say. This beginning of Minecraft is so darn cool. Like, like I would never have been doing this stuff in like 112, 111, you know, whatever. Like, this is such a cool game, man. Like, this early game is so amazing. 
And the fact that we have this fully intact boat is amazing. I might modify this, guys. I might I might make this something. That's really, really cool. Haha, <laughs> door's not. Okay, cool. We got another book. We got another buried treasure map. We got some more paper. All of this is gonna be fantastic for I think we should probably get an enchanting table soon. In fact, we probably could do that like I bet you we have the resources for it. Maybe not the full full enchanting table, but eh, whatever. Awesome. Okay, well, I think I think that's all I can do, right? Well, maybe I might be able to get some pickles. Yeah, look at that. That is awesome. Okay, we are going to get some of these sea pickles. I can't get any of this because I don't have a silk touch pickaxe. That's what I should do. I should go farm up some villagers, some lecterns, so that way we can uh, we can get some enchants that we want. Ah, oh, but this is so darn cool, man. I'm gonna, ooh, let's go buy this dolphin. I don't think there's anything else I can do other than get these pickles here. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, wait, here's a little, here's a little buried something. Buried something, something. Hello? You're gonna give me trash, though. I bet you're gonna give me trash. Yeah, it's pretty much garbage. Luck of the sea, too. That's all right. That's okay. Well, dang it, man. If that wasn't such a fun episode of Minecraft, I don't know what is. Hey, buddy. Thank you for giving me speed. Oh no, it's another ruins. Look at that. It's another ruins. Let's go see if we can't find another one of these chests. They should be here, right? Somewhere here. Here's one. Lure one. Okay, we're you know what? If we get like at least six more of these guys, we might be able to uh might be able to get a decent uh fishing rod. Ooh, hello. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I mean, I've seen those designs before, but that's that's a great idea. Why haven't I done that before? An unburied treasure map. Interesting. Ooh. Ooh, another chest. What if a beautiful people? I'm sorry, I'm thinking without you guys. What if I made like a, a automatic fish farm, and ooh, some emeralds, very nice. Uh, and it, I, I. Ooh, okay. What if we made it a goal for me to only eat clownfish for like the entire season or tropical fish? They were clownfish before, but like, wouldn't that be so cool to be able to only, only eat those types of fish? That'd be cool. I might do that since we're in a tropical, that might be a fun, cause I haven't seen anybody on YouTube do that. That's awesome. That's so awesome. You know what else is awesome? You beautiful people are awesome. I mean, uh, we are already sitting at 20 subscribers. My lucky number is 21. So if this episode, no, I'm just kidding. But you guys are fantastic. New channel, you guys are super, super supportive, supportive of this series. And I am just so excited. I know you guys are getting bakery server after bakery server, but man, oh man, it is just reinvigorated me. 114 is just so Fun. Oh, it's so, so fun. What is this? Six, eight. We've got all of this stuff. We've got all ugh, beautiful people. I am so, so excited for this season. I cannot even uh, begin to comprehend how fun this, this season is going to be with the villages. It's already been so fun. I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are too. Next episode, we are going to get our storage system in place here. I'm going to get working on that now so that we can organize all of that junk mess over there into some beautiful, beautiful storage system. Thank you guys so much for watching and until the next absolutely beautiful, beautiful Minecraft morning, I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always, stay beautiful.